This is a difficult time for farmers in Afghanistan. Drought has been going on for years, and if there are no rainfalls in the weeks to come, they won't be able to irrigate their already barren lands. Many farmers have abandoned their farms and villages due to water shortage. The situation is so bad that families in the north have nothing to eat but grass. Rahman Qul can still feed his family bread and tea, but times are hard. We had a very low harvest of wheat because of drought, cotton fields were badly affected, and this year's harvest will not be enough. We have not received any help from the government. I know of many farmers who decided to grow poppy to make some profits. Drought isn't the only concern here. The high cost of staple food has made life very difficult for the Afghan people. Afghanistan is a nation of almost 25 million people and more than half of the population lives below the poverty line. Most of these people cannot afford to buy basic commodities like bread and rice. And if the drought and food crisis continue, millions are likely to face starvation. UN food agencies and NGOs are warning the country could face a worse food crisis in the coming months. The, the immediate plan is to get food to areas that are going to be affected by winter. Um, obviously, uh, a lot of these people in rural areas who, who are affected by the drought are the same people who are going to be affected by these sort of harsh conditions. Um, for example, in, in the northern areas of the country, uh, that's where about 55% of people who have been affected by the drought live. The World Food Programme and the Afghan government have launched an international appeal for about $200 million to tackle food insecurity in Afghanistan. What they received was barely enough to meet 35 percent of the needs of the affected people. In a country grappling with a deteriorating security situation, many fear that if the government fails to react to the international warning swiftly, the lives of millions will be at risk. Hashim al-Barra, Al-Jazeera, Kabul.